Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 and 5 tutorial. So today's video is another quick and simple one, where we're just going to be going over how to create a bounce pad, or a jump pad, a launch pad, whatever it is that you want to call it, we're going to be creating that in today's video. So let me hit play and show you what we're going to make today. So very simply, all we're going to do is walk up onto this bounce pad or jump on it, and you can see it's going to bounce us super high like this, and you can customise this however you like, so it will go higher, lower, whatever it is that you want. It's very easy to customise the velocity of this launch, and where it is and how it all looks. Now you may want to use this for any kind of game or maybe a puzzle so you have to use this to get to another part of the level or again it could just be in a building game so you can use this to just traverse your level. Whatever it is that you want to use this for we're going to be creating this today. So this is what we're going over and creating today so without further ado let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first thing we want to do is go into our content browser, right click, create a blueprint class and we want to create an actor. I'm going to name this one BP underscore launchpad or whatever it is that you want to call it. I'm going to open it up straight away. Now as I said this is very simple all we need to do in here is just add in the static mesh which we want our bounce pad to be. So for me I'm just going to do a very simple cube and then maybe make this a little bit bigger and a little bit less tall. So that's the kind of shape and mesh I want. Now obviously you can use a custom mesh you can make this look a lot lot nicer but this is what I'm going with. Then we're going to deselect it add another component and we're going to add in a box collision and then we again just want to scale this up to the correct size which we want so we just want this to cover this entire cube or this entire mesh we have so essentially wherever this box collision is is where the player is going to be able to launch from so I've toggled off snapping for my scale so I can just get this as precise as I want and I'm going to make it quite low as well like that so it looks like the player has just collided with the box in order to then actually launch up so this is what I'm going to be going with. So we'll compile, save that, and then go straight over to the event graph. In here, we're going to delete these three nodes, right click on our box cushion, add event, and we're going to add on component begin overlap. So when the player overlaps this box cushion, we're going to launch them. Other actor, we're going to cast to character. You don't want to do your specific character, you just want to do character. So this means whenever any character walks onto this mesh, onto this blueprint, it is going to work. And then as character, we are going to simply just do launch character. Very simple, we already have the node in here. We don't want to do X, we don't want to do Y, we just want to do Z, and I'm going to do 1500. Now you can do any value in here you like, 1500 is what I had at the beginning of the video. Obviously just come in here, mess about with it and get the perfect values for you. And you can put something in X and Y as well, but that means you'll be going forwards, backwards, left and right, whereas Z is just up and down. So keep that in mind, if you want it to go forwards a bit as well, then you can do that there too. We'll compile, save this, minimize it and hit play to test this out after we have obviously placed it into the level and then we can see if this works or not. So we'll walk over to it, we walk into it and it launches us forwards. Now that obviously launched me forwards as well, that's just because it keeps my current velocity going into it. So if I just jump on it like this, it will just go up as you can see perfectly here. So this works perfectly for what we want. Now obviously that didn't bounce me there, that's just because I landed kind of on the edge. So to fix that, you can just make the collision a little bit bigger so it has more room to go in so then I can just make that bigger like this so it's got more of a catch and more of a leeway for when the player lands onto it as you can see like so. So I think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we want to do. What we've done is we set up this launch pad which I might make a little bit bigger just for the purpose of this video now it'll make it a bit easier to bounce on but again we've made this very simple and basic launch pad quite quick video again but what we can do here is we're going to get onto this launch pad and it will launch us into the air and bounces as you can see perfectly here. So I'll also just increase this and you can see what it's going to do if I set that to 5000 this will launch us even higher into the air like so. It's obviously way too high but maybe not if you have a level this big. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you found it helpful and if you did please do make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.